And that, yeah, so she, she own won that first game. All right, so we should be getting into the match really soon. All right, so it's going to be uh, Shane's uh, uh, Soul Bad Guy versus Obro's uh, Giovanni. All right, Super Speed's over. Uh, Obro won the initial exchange and just going to a neutral. Bit of a trade there. Obro's starting some pressure, but. Uh, she ain't firing back. Uh, far slash, but no follow-up. Couple of stray hits. No big starter starting. Wild whiff on the wild throw. Obo is starting to take fresh. Uh, take her turn. Got hit off, I think, a dust attempt there. But... Nice anti air with just the 5p. Managed to just get a few pokes. That's all. You know. Neither one's really getting good combo damage. Which, you, you know. If Soul doesn't get his uh, combo started, started, that evens out his damage a lot. Obro not knowing how uh, plus. How plus they are against Night Boy Vortex there. Turn the game up a bit. Alright. Alright, she ain't... Alright, how's that? Alright, she ain't getting a... Finally getting a good starter and... Starter and getting a... Obro over into the corner. She manages to get out... The throw. But the... Ooh. A one-hit confirm into the super... Oh, it dropped. Not that wasn't anything Obro did, just what the position wasn't right for that. Very aggressive round start for Obro, taking taking uh, the lead immediately. Oh, gets hit by a starter. Bursts out for taking too much damage. Oh, challenging Soul immediately after a gun flame. Not ready for that. Oh, sh oh, sh uh, drops the RC conversion. So that's a lot of help. gives Oprah uh, an entire new lease in life. Ooh, RC to catch their air throw. RC air throw is a very strong reaction, but Shane manages to close it out. Shane, stop wasting my time. Takes that 2 0. Alright. Next, we have K Pain versus. Link Knights. It's going to be waiting for them to get in. To... 
I should be in momentarily. That's probably them. Ignore. So, weird thing about Strive Lobbies, when it, when it says the name of someone who joins, just ignore that. It has no clue who's joining. It just knows that someone joined. It just pulls a random name off your friend list, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Teddy's, uh... Uh, Nagayuki versus, uh, Nicknight's May. So instead of reflecting on and I need to get to the proper scene. Heaven or hell. So you have you extremely so serious, you know, vampire samurai, and then Mrs. Dolphin. No words are needed in the duel. Nagoriyuki versus May. Alright, so let's see how this gets. How they handle this. Link Knight's immediately taking taking the offense. Teddy poked back, but didn't get anything out of it. Nice uh, knowing that knowing which dolphin was a uh, minus poke out. And but you know a few small hit. It's, I mean, they add up when you swing, when you have hit like a truck. Ooh, Teddy can up, getting the blood refill for so you can just use all the supers again. Yeah. Link Knight's being a bit more careful after the Dolphins not, not take the damage. Who gets hit out of the, the Dolphin there. Start Teddy's starting to find the rhythm against these dolphins to poke back. But gets hit by a slide kick there. <laughs> and uses dolphin as cross up. R C to counter R C is a move. <laughs> Teddy bursts at the last there. Ooh, manages to clip. They're not sure if this will kill. Not quite. None of the health left. Oh. I understand the impulse to burst there to try to save life, but save life, but I actually don't think that would have hit if Link Knights did not burst. Meet with backdash dolphin and try to count cure or aggressive start, but gets but not quite fast enough to get called out. And Teddy Pain starts you know Nakyuki can cancel all his all the specials, which makes his form really oppressive. Especially since if he can throw in that command grab and no, ignore his blood meter if he gets it. Which is normal balancing act. K Pain, you know, showing exactly what you can do. Hopefully, that's just on my end. Link Knight's getting a few, little bit started, but not a big uh, combo. Yeah, so. Managed to get rid of the blood gauge and getting a good starter. Didn't get, any, didn't get anything off of that. Oh! Going to immediately super here to get rid of Blood Rage. Oh! It didn't hit, it didn't get rid of Blood Rage, it still took the entire 50% health loss for that. Disappointed. With more training, you may right. have stood a chance. Teddy Paint takes that 2-0. So I'm going to check, do a call for Kylo, see if the, they're here. If I don't get a response, I'm going to skip their matches for now. Alright. 
Alright, so Kylo's busy for tonight, so you only see uh, some, so their matches are going to have to be ran later. So for now, we're going to uh, run all the matches we can tonight for it. For this uh, set. Yeah, so, yeah, Team Teen's uh, Kylo just couldn't make tonight, unfortunately. Alright, so we're going to see a Soul versus May. This is going to be a high, very high, you know, fairly high damage match. I need one of them to get on the cabinet. I need one of you to get on. Alright. Alright. Spectating is go. Now we should be getting this started. So, one thing is, Nagayuki is a very, uh, uh, rare character in this game. So, Link and I should probably know more about how to handle Soul just because you'll have played more Soul. Period. You don't look so tough. <laughs> you done talking. Yeah, it's not as big of an advantage because Soul is, the, you know, pretty much the strongest character in the game, so. Link Knight's immediately starting. I'm... Not sure what that was. So, Solitaire is having a bit of input issues. That's the second time tonight that I've seen them do a wild throw when there's no chance of it hitting. But, gets them to throw and this. Oh, it drops the combo, but. Look, you know, so can just delete health very quickly. Oh, it's uh don't another two hit move. Gets a thanks start. And this is gonna be strong damage. Didn't get the wall break. Over uh Link Knight just takes corner. But oh this is going to be that hit. What a bore. Okay, so um Dash fireball kick becomes a uh, dragon punch kick if you do if you don't yeah if you don't clean up the input so that means you know instead of fan bringer he's getting wild yeah they're getting wild throw anyway oh try to no rock round throw but just out of range last sleep nights get a little bit of damage. Uh, Mesh? Oh! Mesh Dolphin beats Night Raid Vortex. This is gonna need some damage, not full. Gonna immediate super take that round. Fairly defensive round to start. Timing that, uh, Slash Nord to hit. Hit that is very strong. And wow, Soul does. I, I know Soul does damage, but it's still surprising every time I see it. Yeah. Man, so the Knight has a lot of points to take this round. It takes uh, the hit. Uh, gets. Not a full corner conversion. Oh, trying to end it here using that burst. Oh, walks in, walks into gunplay and probably doesn't have burst for this for the final uh, round here. Yeah, Gam gambled on winning with that extra meter and now has to pay for it. And back in the corner, 
manages to get out out with a good uh, uh, jump heavy. And oh, gets trying to trade side of Dolphin. Even like this is probably the it. Yep. Shion takes it. Alright, Shion takes that. And we're going to be going to, uh. K Pain versus, uh. Obero. Yeah, the same. May approaching with Dolphin is one of the one of the ways May tends to get in is by approaching with Dolphin. It is just you know she doesn't have all the tools that she had in the previous games, but her Dolphins are much better at getting in. So you know, without the other tools to do it, she's gonna use Dolphins. I mean, when all you have is a sea world. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Oprah is going to be... Is stepping out for a moment. Oh, never mind. Oprah will step back in. Alright, so, we'll see how, uh, Obero handles, uh, Teddy's Nagoyuki. And I am in spectate mode, so... Hopefully this, uh, zooms in. On. There we go, there's the, you know, eagle, you know. Mankind knew that they cannot change society, so instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. So letting the intros rock today, or Do not quite. Run. Never mind. Alright. Oh, bro. Oh, gets put into the corner early. Which, you know. Oh. Nope, can't be punished because the... Flutterage activated it, but you still, you know, you still lose a ton of life. You know, but then it doesn't matter if you take it around. Overall, with an aggressive round start there. Teddy first should not deal with uh, Giovanni's pressure. Goes in, drinks. Strange blood meter. Try again. Not, not a big punish, but you know, every bit helps. Oh, bro. Oh. Teddy takes that game. Fair, you know, fairly quickly. Mankind knew that they. Duel one. Let's see how Obro adapts. Oh, Teddy immediately decides that he you know, just wants me to meter this round. It's, you know, good, some damage, not a real strong version for spinning meter there. Aside from getting corner pressure. Obro punched out. Yeah, Teddy having to go, you know, having a fairly large. Large blood meter. So, oh man, just get a get a grand throw there. I didn't think that was possible. Trades there. First to get meter. You know, 
I just, well, you know, see what Obro can do with that meter. You know. Gets a, just a tiny hit, not, you're technically punishing, but you're not getting anything off of the punish, so that's not, you know, getting it enough out of it. Oh. So, getting a couple good hits in, now starting, you know, showing the pressure that Giovanni can push once she's on the offense. Gets on, if in the corner, gets a throw, just keep on, keep on toes. Well break, almost take just a little bit left in this round. Oh! Nugget was too far away for the yellow YRC to push away. Walks forward. Ow. Oh. I think was trying to bait a super, but Teddy didn't bite. So Teddy takes that round. All right, so we have uh, next gonna be Shion versus uh, Next is gonna be shown versus uh uh H2O lock. Yeah, so last two games we'll have tonight are both with H2O lock. Just the way the rounds lined up. Their matches were twice or two in a row. Dual one. Ah, <laughs> birthday train. You know, for the XR power. Shion managed to get a very strong start. Yeah. No. Oh. Chip, uh, Soul does damage, and Chip does not have life to, uh, take that damage. Full wrist meter means Chip will be taking a whole lot of damage. Damage from anything. Managing to get a full, full combo there. And, oh, catches the, catches the whip dragon, dragon punch with that. No punish on that dragon punch, but managed to take the round anyway. Good scramble. Shion just throwing out far slash, you know, you know, just check what Chip's doing. H-Rock managed to get throw, gets the command grab, grab for good damage. And missed time the command grab there was 8 of DP for that. Oh think quite Vince was not quite there for Shion against that super. I'm I'm not sure how I got hit by the command grab or command grab the DP, but DP uh, RC is a very strong tool for us all. Yeah, actually saying it's a very strong tool for so is putting it, uh, is underselling it. So, you know, Ishiwak not very, you know, took a lot of damage. And Chip just doesn't have a lot of life to beat, take the first place. So, 
Ship's probably dead next hit. So HUR can't really have to get going. Burst out immediately. Ooh. Miscalculates and gets hit by the shotgun. Shion takes game one. Pathetic. Let's rock. H2R going aggressive round start. Good defense by Shion managed to get a size bullet hit in return. Throws out of the Alpha Blade. Throwing out of the Alpha Blade, which is First, you know, get rid of the combo and the corner pressure, but Shion manages to force Chip back into the corner anyway. Ace Truck getting out with the air, air alpha blade. Tries to punish. No punish on that super. Full wrist gauge. This is death. Oh. Did I not hit match focus? Sorry. Anyway. Ace Truck getting an extra. Another strong round start. And... Gets a... Yeah, a few hits. And... Gets Salt into the corner. Not full... Full wall combos yet. Oh, gets hit. Oh. Yellow Worm can still to try to get out, but... Gets forced back into the corner. Takes... A little bit of damage, not full damage. Night Roar affects Purple RC to catch the punish. Attempt. Ace Shock making pressure safe for that uh, PRC. Takes that round. Uh, Shion might get burst back, it's questionable. No. Chip manages to, uh, get Shion, yeah, it's Shion managed to get Shion back in the corner. Good damage off this wall combo. Oh, managed to dodge once after, gets hit by the second one. Gets caught by the PRC Knight Roid Vortex the second time. So, gets stuck. Good hit. This might be it. Oh, Drops it, but then picks up the reset. At 1-1. One, one. Nice. Soul takes the initial lead here. Yeah, Shion takes the initial lead. A shock po pokes out. Yo, pushes uh, Shion back in the corner. Tries Shuriken. Shuriken, but doesn't get... Doesn't work out. Chip pressure. Uh, Chip is very fast, so it's extremely likely that your Chip is just going to hit you at some point. Oh, managed to get hit by the raw super, which puts the H2R in a good position to take this. Shion jumps out. Fairly, pa fairly patient there. Taking a few hits, nothing big. Throw, just one throw even to sit up. Tried to throw a dust to get punished for it. Managing to, uh, you know, just a couple hits to even up, even it up. But back in the corner. Ooh, Tyrant Rave blocked, which means gets a very strong wall combo. Good damage and the positive bonus. And, you know, Shion doesn't have much left in this life bar. A Shion being you know, is controlling the pace here. Oh, that. Weird interaction with Burst puts H Rock back in the corner. A last second throw and Burst trying to end it right right here rather than go into the next match with a full first and it pays off.
All right. Alright, so this is the last match of the night. It's going to be H2 Hawk versus Teddy Payne. And mind that Kylo on Team 10 it was not able to make it here tonight. Those matches will be played, but they just won't be played at a later date. Anyway, and Shark takes a good, good start. Start Teddy Payne managed to get some damage, but push himself into the corner. Teddy Payne trying to push out, press out against uh, Chip's oppressive speed. Uh, YRC, countered by YRC, you know, it's just reset. It's like, good command grab. Grab there. Got a couple of hits. Oh, del a delayed overhead to catch, to catch a Teddy pushing. Yeah, that's a new layer that I haven't seen before. You know, you have the wreck having go into the the immediate low or the overhead. You know, you can go into a delayed low to catch the buttons. You know, Ace Rock went one step further and delayed the slow overhead. And managed to get a wall break off of a seemingly nothing version. Version. Gets a couple of hits and this might. Not quite. Didn't quite get the option. Manages to take take that game fairly quickly. That didn't even kill much time. <clears throat> and let's see how Teddy can uh, respond to H2O Hawk. Hawk's pressure. Not not able to block the Alpha Blade. Uh, Alpha Blade does hit backward uh, behind if you start from really close. And Teddy's very low on life this life bar already. Managed to push Chip out with those punches, but not getting any uh, the very strong pressure and damage. Oh, that's the hitting that right front in the ground to catch button. Which puts Chip in which put Ace you know, up around. So Teddy has to win both these rounds to stay in it. Manages to push out and poke out again. Teddy seems to have caught on to that Ace Walk love deal and was just punching out of it and deals so much damage. Yeah, Teddy Payne's just decided to start swinging nuke there. And... Evens it up like that. Okay, so kind of... Uh, so I just learned that the last person on the team has shown up, so they'll get to do three matches in a row. Jumps... With a... I did not think that would do all that... As damage. So they're tied up one one. I I have no idea what that burst was. But uh H2 Oct off to a very strong start since Teddy does not have burst for this round. Teddy will probably be getting burst next round though. 
Oh. It's shock push first back him. Managed to get Teddy into the cor corner. Oh, nice purple RC in order to not get punched there and get the trunk a punch there. Rose is almost dead. First is not going to be doing anything this round. Yeah. So it's show off. Just has one last round to finish it off. But, uh, See if taking oh taking a strong start and just going you know just still leading life far. I think Teddy's purposely not falling through with the combo in order to keep Chip in the corner and managing to yeah, you're in a bad position doesn't need much to actually take this. A-Shock might have been able to take that if he did a super off wall break. I think A-Shock caught the back dash with that super. Alright, so next it's gonna be H2R versus uh, Kylo. Code for him and came in late. <sighs> All right, so just waiting for Kylo to get into the room. Should be him. Yep. Oh, I have Kylo looks clean. You know. I just realized I've for been forgetting to mark all the characters. So good luck with that, Jaxus. Characters uh, want to get up in their face. Both characters have very strong mix up. I, yeah, Chip's definitely the faster one here, but kind of managed to get a very sh some very strong uh, single hits in. Not really getting combos, but just stealing good damage. Jumps up, managed to get the command grab, which means that a shock just gets their free turn now. Good trade on that jab. Get out. Miss. Time to oh, caught in the air dash. And takes takes that round there. 
H2R uh, getting up to a very strong. Getting I know immediately into the corner and taking off half health health immediately. Kind of trying to push back, but may lose it here. Go be a ninja. H2R takes takes game one. Kylo is starting off. First try. Getting meter. Meter. And HR managed to push uh, Kylo into the corner. And no. Not quite sure what that trick was that HR was going to Kylo is losing. Did not spend the meter that. Uh, the burst was used to get. But has burst back in this round round anyway. Anyway, it's chip is just super fast. And man, she get this I'm not sure if this will kill. Yeah. Chip doesn't have strong. A force burst there. Oh, good block, but no punish. But gets gets a corner hit, but no corner combo. That didn't even kill much time. All right, so next match is uh. Going to be Obero versus uh, Kylo. So let's see how uh, Kylo's I know can do against the uh, Obro's Giovanni. Mankind. I both defense go to a defensive round start. Kylo gets hit, but you know Obro's fighting back. Takes a small combo. It there. Managed to kick up. Yeah. I was putting on some good, I know, some good pressure. I show Bros having to figure out the up. I was favoring the heavy stroke, heavy stroke victory. Which means that she is plus whenever she does that move, but she can't do it. But she has to put a gap in order to throw it out. So every time that she throws it out, you can punch it. You can respond with your hit of your own. But overall, uh, managed to get things started. Putting I know in the corner. I know it is fairly fragile, not chip fragile, but all in the lower. And that's the that's uh I know it's only true reversal. There is a vulnerable point between the first and second hits, but if second hit hit is blocked, I know is massively plus the guard break. Uh, kind of playing a very uh rounded game here, not one point. To arrest air dashing at 
into uh, Obro, but Obro's man, you push their way out. A strong Super Gen takes that round. Starting with no, no, not quite sure about that as a round start just because it's so slow it moves to any offensive round start. But it's not punished. Oh, Obro just dashing just, just forced the situation back to sense of stage. Yeah, I know can do some damage in, you know, at midstream, but. Her big damage is, you know, get big damage in the corner. Okay, let's start to throw the... Ooh, command grab, wake up command grab. Interesting, your power choice. It's very strong, it hits, but it is not a true reversal. And... Oh, bro, being a bit defensive this round. Uh, don't, Giovanni doesn't really have to fear chemical love at all. She can just run off and just ignore it. Like, I don't think she can press buttons. Like, standing buttons what's out, but I'm pretty sure you can just run at it. And go under it. Oh, bro. Demolishing that I know in the corner. Another round start. No. <laughs> anyway, hello. Getting a few hits in. Nothing major though. Oh, well, it jumps into that. I, probably thinking of something. No. Getting a few punches to keep pressure up. Gets a. Uh, Takes a few hits from. Uh, oh, gets caught in a counter hit. Uh, big three. Nice. Now, Kylo managed to push back. back. Obro's the throw. Puts. Takes a little damage. Oh, not quite enough. Enough, which next hit probably wins this. Oh. No. Yeah. Hey, no. This isn't Iwasu, you know? Okay, so Obero takes that 2-0. Which means we're down to the last match of the night. Alright. So, it's going to be... A... Sorry, I clicked buttons and my screens went all weird. I need to wait to get everything back in focus. Uh, should be the last one. It should be Link Knights. Yeah, I was just saying, like, I knows, like, Chemical Love. Cannot hit a standing Geo. Even when Geo's doing the little popping idol, it can't hit a standing Geo. It's a weird interaction. To me, that's the only thing that I want changed is I want Ino's chemical love to hit everyone's stand. Some people dash under it, that's one thing, but standing, it should hit. <clears throat> Actually... <laughs> Alright, so... Link Knight's gonna be a bit delayed. 
Uh, no, it's a heavy chemical love uh, issue. Like, there's also a lot of dashes. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, I'm not sure. If, there's a lot of things it should hit visually that just doesn't. The hitbox is a little bit too high. You know. Honestly, it's not going to hit. You know, like, Night Raid Vortex or a crouch, crouching character, but. Is on the way here, and this will be the last, uh, last game, last, uh, set of the set, match of the game. Last set of the match. <clears throat> so they're about equal, uh, uh, Link Knights can, uh, tie it up here. You know, you have to get a 2 out. Uh, if Tyler wins, then they can, and their team will win outright. I think I know has a lot of ways to deal with dolphins, but I think they're like all pretty high commitment. So you know, this is definitely an interesting matchup. I think I know has a you know has you know definitely some things I can do, but has to watch you know, definitely has to uh be careful, because May hits May will do more damage on average. And that should be Link Knight, who just teleports to the... teleports in front of the match station. Um... There they are. Alright, we should be getting going here. Mankind. A little flip there. Hang some... I'm having some... Problems. Uh, I have no idea if this is just me as a spectator or if they're having these issues. Some issues and uh, Link Knights 
laptops kind of crash. Alright, so, um, there's a little bit of, a uh, technical issue. So, all in all, we go ahead and get that all, uh, fixed up. Yeah, so, thanks to nice computer, uh, they had a little bit of issues, so, they're just getting things, uh, back, they're just getting things set up so they can do it, uh, without the frame rate of a slideshow. So how is chat doing tonight? As <laughs> speaking of technical issues, my technical difficulty screen is having technical difficulties of the chain's not working. I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be moving. <sighs> oh, I thought they were mo moving because they move in every other. S I they move in like every other screen, like. You know, this one, all the chains move and stuff, so I just assume they're removing it, the technical difficulty screen. You know. There, here they teleport onto the match station and teleport back. Man, these lobbies are. Oh, I'm got kicked off the lobby station. Yeah, kicked off. Hopefully, I'm actually in spectate. Yep. All right. There we go. Last match, last games of the night. Whatever Mankind words. Alright. Trying to. I think the heavy criminal level is trying to count the Sea World. But. I managed to get out. Going. Chasing down the Sultry Performance. Or. Sultry Performance. Sorry. Match. Uh, you guys getting a good, you know, getting some power, some damage off that vertical dolphin. Not afraid. 
afraid of Ino's button. Takes a little damage there, but manages to close out the round. Alright. Ignite's starting off on the offense here. Putting Kylo into a cor corner fairly quickly. We got a corner that's gonna be a good corner combo damage. And I did not think that hit at that at that range. But uh Kylo quick and Link Knight back in the corner. Gets reversal. Yeah. Gets hit by the dynamic orca. Kylo, yeah, fairly defensive round start. Nothing much happened. Both sides go out. Kylo bursting at a weird time, but doesn't get punished for it. But Big Knight's managing to win neutral with the uh, good Dolphins. Good interrupt against that heavy stroke victory. And takes that round. I think I take that around fairly cleanly. Uh, I have no idea how that hit and how that was an actual conversion off that. Very good, good conversion from Kylo to get that. So, S Dolphin is fast, but it is negative. So, <laughs> you can't just do that. Oh. Using PRC and RT to make that safe. But Link Knight fears that fears that Kylo can't deal with Dolphin, so it just went to oh, entirely Dolphin. <laughs> so Alright, see round start. Back up Dolphin. Link Knight. SeaWorld has truly been unleashed here today. To a level I've never seen before. <laughs> and Kylo... Kylo gets hit, but... Takes some damage. No life. And Link Knight takes that. Alright, so... Good game. Good, uh... Playing for both teams, uh... Alright, so... The match ended up being a tie 10-10. I should actually show you that properly. Alright, so I'm gonna run and 